Hey, it's Raj from 3CB. Barcelona and Argentina legend Lionel Messi is arguably the greatest dribbler of all time, able to snake his way through a litany of defenders and leave the opposition shaking their head. To give Messi's dribbling skill and technique its proper due, I've broken it down into a three-part series, beginning with underlying foundations and building upwards. Accordingly, I highly recommend you watch part one and part two prior to watching this. In this video, part three, I'll break down three final components of Messi's dribbling, change of speed, on-ball technique, and staying calm under pressure. Messi's ability to change speed stems from his elite deceleration and acceleration ability. In addition to the multitude of factors we've discussed before, mental speed, balance, neuromuscular activation, and so on, there's two key additional components to his deceleration. Messi's explosive first step harnesses key biomechanical principles. Paired with that first step is Messi's running cadence, aka how many steps he's taking. Watch how quickly he turns over his stride when he's accelerating. His legs are a complete blur. This high of a running cadence takes a lot of energy which is a testament to Messi's endurance and fitness because he does this all game. Here's a play that combines all three. The overlying theme with Messi's on-ball technique and movements is that he doesn't overcomplicate things. He's a master of the basics who uses key fundamental principles and moves to get where he wants to on the pitch. Many of Messi's dribbles begin with him first straddling the ball. This position allows him to keep all his movement options open while not giving the defender any information on his intended route, which keeps them guessing and one step behind. This position is the base of Messi's dribble tree, and he has many branches to choose from. Frequently, Messi will wait in this position to bait the defender into committing, and then it's deuces. You'll also see him quickly reset to this position on the dead run. Or, he'll use it multiple times in quick succession to find the opening. Further, he uses the same initial straddle when his back is to the defender. All his dribbling options remain open. Here, he uses both versions to eventually defeat the defender. Simple, yet extremely effective football.
When it comes to the overall direction of the dribble, Messi's approach is again beautifully simple. Take what the defense gives you and nudge the ball into open space. Here, it's find an open teammate, run into open space, and play the ball into open space. Messi's incredible touch and close control is a byproduct of being in complete control of his mental space and body. The theme with Messi's dribbling moves is again mastery of the basics. Using the outside of his shoe and instep to change ball direction. Timing his touches immaculately and letting the ball run rather than overdo it with his touch. And a handful of moves that are simple in nature but devastating with how well Messi executes, sequences, and combines them. Side to side dribble with either foot. Here he uses the same left to right dribble multiple times. If they can't stop it, keep using it. Body feints. Again, uses the same move multiple times in succession. If it works, why overcomplicate it? Messi will also use feints with his back to or facing the defender. Nutmeg. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Crossover dribble, aka show and go. Pass and shot feints. A combination of moves. He combines and sequences his fundamental moves fluidly and quickly. Good luck defending that. The last component of Messi's dribbling, along with his mental speed, Take note that I'm starting and ending this series with mental factors which speak to how they underlie everything else. Is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected, and not panic regardless of the situation. That calmness is what allows him to continuously bait defenders and make excellent decisions in even the tightest of situations. Messi has complete trust in his mental and physical ability. Notice how the entire sequence is a combination of fundamental moves we discussed before. From a neuroscience perspective, we know that excessive stress and anxiety shuts down the high level, executive decision making part of the brain. That's a death knell for an athlete trying to make multiple decisions under high pressure. Messi focuses on what's in front of him stays calm, and executes. When you combine all these components, you get incredible plays like this one.
What can you even say? I hope you enjoyed this three-part journey on Messi's dribbling. I did my best to deconstruct his amazing ability into key components that provide actionable insight. There's plenty more to break down with Messi, so keep an eye out for more videos. That's a wrap for this one. Thanks for watching. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, evidence-based, narrative-free analysis. You can always find me on IG and Twitter at 3CB Performance. Please take care of yourselves and follow the appropriate precautions to limit your exposure to and spread of COVID-19. Make sure to sub to the channel and follow along on all social media for latest updates. 3CB out.